Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another brand new GTA Online video. In this video we will be discussing a potential zombie DLC. We'll talk about what is possible with what is in the game already and what Rockstar has to add to make it happen. We will also discuss how likely this DLC is after all is said and done. For those wondering why I make these videos, I love thinking about new concepts and ideas. And I hope in the tiny off chance Rockstar might see this video and be like Yo Dan! Dan! Have you seen that new video by that Sunny Evans guy? If you are talking about zombies, you know? It doesn't look that shit, you know? Let's do it, Dan! Okay, let us begin. So Rockstar has done a zombie DLC before, be it in another game. Of course, I'm talking about Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. This was a single player edition, giving you a brand new story and of course, hordes upon hordes of zombies charging at you. So Rockstar has done it before, would they do it again? Before we can answer that question, we have to portray a full picture of the possibilities and hurdles for a DLC like this. To make this DLC work and work properly, we'd need a full map overhaul. Of course, Los Santos as is does not look nearly good enough for a DLC like this. I'm not per se talking about adding brand new things, I'm talking about moving things and placing things differently. Because of course there is an object limit in the game and Rockstar cannot keep adding new props to the world. It will literally make all the Xbox Ones and PlayStation 4 explode while PCs of course are gonna be just fine. So let me explain by showing you this. This is a street. No shit you twat! Yes, a generic street with a few props. You see some lights, some bins, just generic street stuff. Now let's change the weather a bit and place props ever so slightly differently to get a bit more of a zombie look. Now before you go all bananas on me, cause this might seem like a lot of work to do this to every prop in the game, I can assure you, a team of 10 people can create a map like this within a day's work. Even with the limited modding tools it is very, very easy. Of course, you'd have to pay respect to the object limit, but that does not mean you can't delete things, add things, to create something like this. As with every Rockstar game title, the world our characters walk around in is the real star. So if a zombie DLC is going to happen, it has to look the part. By the way, I hope you enjoy the footage I made for you guys and ladies. It's a lot of fun to create and I hope you enjoy it so far. Please leave a like on the video if you do and subscribe if you're new. As for the vehicles, cause of course Los Santos has quite a few NPCs cruising around, well they're all gone. You can find vehicles parked every now and then, but for the first time, gas would come into play for your car as well. An interesting dynamic that would keep you on your toes at all time. You don't want your sweet new ride to run out of gas in the middle of nowhere. More on that later. So the world needs to look dark, gritty, destroyed. Cause for whatever reason, whenever zombies appear, all buildings and structures magically start to deteriorate 5,000 times faster than they normally would. So we have our world now, let's talk zombies. Now if we ask Bill, who is watching the video right now as we speak, if you are a Bill and watching, shout out to you, Bill. Bill, what is a zombie? Bill is the kind of guy who would say, slow walker, bloody dub, mad craving for brains. So kinda like this guy. This is your standard walker. And everything you see happening before you can easily be created by Rockstar. All this is is a drunk walking guy who looks a bit angry, got a shit ton of blood on him and voila, we have a zombie. Now if Rockstar programs these bad boys to attack all players at all times, also an easy job, we have ourselves a real zombie. Of course you can spice things up with running zombies as well. This would require a slight bit of coding and animating cause there aren't any decent running animations that look really frantic and zombie like in the game. So yes, that is a wee bit of work. And last but not least, we'd also need special infected of course. Zombies with higher armor who take more bullets to take down, massive bastards who are basically walking tanks. You'd ideally need a squad to take him out. This is one variation of the top of my head, there could be plenty of different ones. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think would be an interesting special infected. So we have a world, we have a zombies, what now? What the hell do we do? Before we talk such details, we need to start at the very beginning. What happens when you drop in for the first time? You will be a bum, starting all over again. No money, no shelter, no weapons. All the apartments, houses, bunkers, whatever are all locked off. So there will not be buying property, at least not in that way. There will still be in-game currency. Money would still be a factor. 
You use that to buy yourself weapons, armor, ammo. The last thing would be pretty scarce and eventually you could even buy yourself a shelter. Once you bought the shelter you can start an operation. Sourcing missions would return as a means to get income. This time you source basic survival needs. You check what you need, you get it once you've started your mission. The more missions you do, the more NPCs you will start luring to your shelter, unlocking new trade possibilities. For example, once word gets out your shelter has a bunch of equipment, a gun vendor can come over to settle. With a gun vendor you'd have a new way to buy yourself new weapons. Other NPCs like car traders, clothing traders, guns for hire etc can come to your shelter and your aid. Now you got yourself a way to keep buying weapons and you can even accept missions from your gun vendor to get more weapons in his stock. Other NPCs like car traders, clothing traders, guns for hire etc can come to your shelter and aid. You can invest in security in and outside your shelter and before you know it you'll be running a small city within the city of Los Santos or Blaine County. Now other GTA Online players will of course be doing the exact same thing and what they do is entirely up to them. Just like free mode in GTA Online, they can choose to do whatever. Do missions, run around and kill zombies with friends, explore, loot or go after other players. The more kills they make, the more notorious they become. This is also a clear sign to not do any business with these players because you might find yourself on the floor covered in brains. Your own brains. <laughs> the way you make money is through trading with other players, doing special loot missions and other dangerous endeavors. So basically we'll get a brand new GTA Online free mode with brand new missions as well. Now if this was gonna be added like I am describing it, I would not even mind if this was gonna be a paid DLC. A brand new overhaul, a brand new experience for let's say 20 bucks. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. So we have our world, we have our zombies, we have our objective, which is basically a brand new grind. What else? So next up are vehicles. Now this is where the majority of your money will be going, just as in GTA Online. From nimble cars, to fast bikes, to badass choppers, to mobile command centers, armored and weaponized to the teeth. Besides being obviously a means of transportation, they will also provide you with a sense of safety and in some cases can even pack a meme punch to zombies and enemy players. If you did enough sourcing missions for your shelter, you'd have your very own mechanic and if you did enough jobs for him, you have a marvelous plethora of death traps for your own zombie and player chopping slash scooping slash shredding slash splattering needs. So goodbye Los Santos Customs, hello. James Wilkinson, mechanic. Oh, welcome to the shop. God damn it, who put him in? Jobs. Another way to make money will be through jobs. Think survival jobs, hordes of zombies unleashed to kill you. Think seek and destroy, clear out an area with zombies, hold it for a set time. Maybe a deathmatch versus other players, only zombies are also a thing to worry about. You know, the last one sounds pretty stale, but believe me, in the game H1Z1, they had a zombie mode for a limited time where it was a standard battle royale mode, but zombies were roaming around as well. It was really intense. An infected game mode could be a thing as well. You would start out with one special zombie, player controlled, and his objective would be to turn the others. There are plenty of possibilities. So it's time to recap. This is uh, a lot of take in. So for the zombie DLC, we'd get a complete overhaul of the map. We'd get zombies too, no fucking shit. A brand new experience and way to play GTA Online. New vehicles and customization options, new jobs, new clothing. Basically an entire overhaul for everything that we come to love and hate. For the mere price of 20 bucks. Okay, cool, ladies, gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Also a massive shout out to my fantastic sponsors. You guys are simply the best. See you in the next one. Peace out.